welcome to the part 6 of the Spring Hibernate based application development. In the previous section we saw building the basic Spring, Spring MBC framework using the dispatcher servlet definition in WebXML and uh, we created a controller that the dispatcher used to uh, redirect the request to a view and we also saw how to create the model and view object inside the controller and uh, send the object over to the view. In this section we are going to create the basic flow for our bookstore application which will be add a book and then we save the book and list all the books that are in the uh, database. So we will be basically adding an add book handler which is a method inside the controller and we look at the add book view which will use the spring form tag library and then we'll create a save book uh, method or a save book uh, request handler method that will uh, save the books using the service layer and list the books. <coughs> Switching to the Eclipse view, uh, let's get started with our first part, which is the add book get handler. We take a look at the controller class right now. This is how it looks. We have the add book get handler already defined, which we created last session, and uh, it is right now calling the view add book which is getting redirected to the add book JSP. <coughs> we will um, rename this to be the list books and uh, create a new view called add books or add book We'll now introduce a, a spring tag library uh, tag lib definition which would uh, look like percentage at tag lib URI equals we will be using the spring tag library which uh, It's part of the is spring form tag library so we're going to use the URI for spring form and call it with the SF prefix we will have a simple form for adding the book so we'll call this add book and uh, create a form uh, SF colon form and uh, we will uh, use a couple of uh, attributes for this <clears throat> one is called command name we'll explain what that means and then we will um, create a action we'll send the action to bookstore slash save book and the form tag and inside the form tag we will have a we'll have a couple of input fields title which would be a uh, input spring form input and this has a attribute called path we'll explain what that is in this soon and uh, we'll also have one more attribute called uh, or one more field price which will refer to the price field and we will separate it with a new line and then we will have a simple um, HTML submit button <coughs> so that is the complete uh, add view uh, 
add book uh, view so uh, going back to our lesson plan here we had add book handler and then add book view oh, I did miss out one thing in the add book handler is the add book handler will now return a model and view object it will create a new model and view object here by returning model and view the view will be add and we will uh, call this object that's getting passed to the JSP as book and uh, we will create a new book <coughs> so the object name here will become the command name over here so the, the spring form expects an object of name book and the path variables refer to the variables that are part of the attributes that are part of the object here so that's the first part so so far we covered creating a handler creating a, a view for the handler and now we need to create a handler for a save book the save book will uh, call the list book view it should also uh, first save the um, data but we will be deferring that to the next session and how we can create a service layer and call and save the data for now we will call the list book view from the save book so going back to the controller here we need to add a new method I'm going to copy this method and paste it and call it save book and um, this will receive the book from the um, add book view and we will call this save book and the result for this is list books and uh, it will return object of book that it received from the input form so this is how the save book request handler will look like so in the list books we are just listing the title of the book so that is pretty much the whole uh, screen flow is we created an add book handler add book view save book handler and save book view now we can go ahead and te test this out so I'm gonna go ahead and run this it will start off with the default index.jsp that's already there so I need to change the URL to add book which brings us this form for adding a book I'm going to type in book one two three and put a price here and then click on submit we have a message error message that says post is not uh, supported so we have to go back to the add book.jsp and click on the save book target so troubleshoot this and I find out it is accepting only get so the method needs to support post so I'm gonna give it one more try and run this again <coughs> I'm going to go with the add book and submit. There we go. It reached the save book page, and the value sent is the value we type in the uh, add book field. Submit it gets the value. So, what is going on here is the when we first go to the add book page we see the uh, add book JSP which is over here using the add book uh, handler and then the handler also creates a new book and passes it as the named object book one book and inside add book we are uh, 
setting these values now in order to see this you can also add a quick um, uh, field name here or set a field uh, so if I do book b1 equals new book and then we send it over here and I can set a value here which will get reflected in the JSP set title um, book name so if I pass this value to the JSP it will get displayed so we can have a quick demonstration of that um, over here So this is the value we set in the controller and it, it, it gets populated in the form, uh, in the spring form, uh, using the spring form tag. So whatever the value we are sending from the ad book in the controller, it gets populated in the, in the resulting uh, JSP. So that's uh, pretty much the whole flow. Uh, for this session, we saw the add book handler, add book view, save book, and the list books view. In the next session, we will uh, save the uh, book that is sent to the save method using the service uh, layer, and uh, we will also look into adding the validations for the title and the price fields. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.